developing now in the district. Mayor Bowser is implementing a stricter sexual harassment policy. This comes after the harassment scandal involving her former top deputy mayor and chief of staff, John Felchicchio. Felchicchio resigned back in March after several women accused him of sexual harassment. Our political and government reporter, Leonard M. Fleming, has our story. Bowser administration officials outlined the new policy that was signed by the mayor today that has a more strict updated sexual harassment policy from the one in 2017. The mayor's new policy includes five major changes. It bans sexual or intimate relationships between a supervisor and any employee in the chain of command. So if you were an employee dating someone in the same department, you would have to disclose that. Second, all employees must undergo sexual harassment training once a year, up from every other year. Third, more training for sexual harassment officers who hear complaints. Fourth, a sexual harassment task force will be created. Finally, harassment claims involving top administration officials, including the mayor, will go to D.C.'s inspector general. Here is the mayor on the new policy. I issued a citywide um, sexual harassment policy in 2017. Uh, and we had the uh, fortunate occurrence of having to engage it fully this year, uh, and it worked. Uh, we had uh, employees that came forward, made complaints. They were credible. They were investigated. What we've also learned uh, in these intervening months is um, that it could be strengthened and made clearer. An independent investigation into the Falchicchio scandal has been delayed according to report from Axios, which the mayor referred those questions in a briefing today to that office. Meanwhile, the mayor will address these issues tomorrow in a briefing at 11 a.m. Reporting from the Wilson Building, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.